Right now, talk your shit, buddy. Go ahead. Man, the sad thing about conspiracies is that everybody goes down. You don't know who did what. Everybody got to go down. Like, damn, like, you throwing me in jail because I punched some midget in the face? All because I'm MJG or TTYK? Damn, like, the conspiracy shit is weird, dog. It's like everybody go down as a group when the reality is whether we in a group or not, a gang or not, we all individual people. And I didn't do nothing but punch a midget in the face. Get out of here. But anyway, your man D-Thing just called from jail and... It was tight, man. It seemed like he in good spirits. His music is still living, though his buzz ain't died down yet. It's new drill artists coming out every day, and him and K-Flock still on top. Regardless of whoever drops, K-Flock and D-Thing are still on top, so that's dope to see. Um, but, man, it's, it, it's sad when you see an artist start buzzing, and then they get locked up, and it's like, yo, what could be if they was home right now? Like, they can't even enjoy the fruits of their labor till they're at home. But... This is what happens in life, and sometimes your old life can catch up to you. Now, I mean, let's use common sense. If K Flock or D Thing had a choice between being in Miami right now with, with their homies or being in jail, of course they're choosing Miami. This is basically a message that the streets is not worth it. You can get a job, go to trade school, um, go to college. You, you you know, you can learn how to engineer rap beats, you can learn how to, you know, become a personal trainer. It's a lot. Nowadays in 2022, there's so many options out there that you do not have to join the streets. You do not have to end up in this situation. Every single day we get messages from Lee Drilly and Chef G telling the youth like, yo, don't do it. Stay out the streets. And it's sad because, you know, for somebody like Lee Drilly or, or D-Thing, if you ask me, it was basically their old life catching up with them. Stuff that they did in the past catching up so them before they could even pop off. They didn't even pop off yet. They was building up steam and their old life caught up to them quick. Usually, you know, it take a little bit of time. Like, you know, like what happened to Bobby Schmurder. That took a little time. But for them, it happened quick. Like, So these 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 people are not playing about these indictments. They're really trying to lock people up. So my best advice to youth and everybody who's listening to this and deep think fans, F the streets, man. Like, there's so many options out there. You could be cool without the streets. You don't have to be no tough dude. None of that, man. Just do your thing. Get your money, live your life, be on the beach somewhere, set yourself up, get a Tesla or something. The world is your oyster. So, um, the streets can only lead to death or jail and nobody can avoid that. Digital thugs, free RPT, even though they did some crazy or even though they're accused of doing some crazy stuff, free them because some members of the team were starting to become productive and that could have got everybody out the hood possibly. Now that everybody's in jail, but... I'm out. Right now, talk your shit, buddy. Go ahead. Hey, yo, hey, yo, free me, man. Free the guys, bro. Free all PT, bro. Free everybody. You know we be back soon, bro. They can't hold us forever, man. And hey, you know what's going on? We be back soon. Yo, face. Go the fuck up, gang. You know the vibes, buddy. Buddy. Yes, buddy. Love you, buddy. Hey, still.